another one. Well, yesterday I picked this up, and it's a radio um, cassette player type thing. Like, there's my local station, 1041 Jack FM, playing what we want, KZJK. Um, but I want it to play cassette tapes, and it will play cassette tapes. Just at like two times the speed of what it should do. So I'm going to try to figure that out. In order to do that. I'm just going to take these batteries out. It is a, well, let's see if I can figure out a designation. It's a Memorex. MB520. I can't hit 87.9, so screw you. Yeah, stupid pirate TV station. What in the world? Alright, yeah, there it died. The capacitance probably stay for a while so that it'll be like, Oh, you don't have to change the time. But guess what? I had to change the time. How long is this screw? So I just want to kind of figure it out. And if I can, I'll just put it back together. Because it works great as a radio, even though I already have a radio walk-in. But I also need to... Take apart and figure out what size belt it needs. If it needs one at all, maybe the belt just fell off. That'll be fun to figure out. Uh, the camera's doing some weird stuff with the lighting. I know you can't see it very well, but through you. I don't know... I, I don't have any working headphones either, so I don't know what this is going to be useful for. Maybe in a friend's car. Oh my word, what is that? That's the switch for... My word, this is horrible. It's like this was dipped underwater for like 25 years. Um, if you want to see what I mean. Um, then let's see what happens if I, like, I put the batteries in and, like, they get in contact. I want to see. It's 12. So the capacitors obviously work well. It runs too quick. Um, I don't know how I'm going to take this apart any further because it wasn't meant to be. Take it apart any further. It could be bad caps. Or not. But because I don't care enough. I will put the the case back on. I want to know what kind of ancient sweatshop techniques they used to put this together because
don't know how the hell they did it. Like, it's not the right size. It should not fit in here like that. It's a digital tuner. So, fancy. What in the hell? You know what I might have to do? I might have to pretend this is okay. <laughs> Probably made weird faces and I don't even know it. They really did not make this thing to be serviceable. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's not really serviceable. Like, how is it... Who the hell made this? Memorex, what Chinese company did you tell... So make me the worst quality cassette player you possibly can. And they're like, okay. I pretty much decided that this is just going to have to be the rare rearless option. If I can't figure this one damn thing out. Last Resort is smashing it together. It actually sounds... There is no way that's what I had to do. That's, that was easy. I, 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 it just failed really badly. Stay in drugs and don't do school, kids. That's a wrong screw for that hole. That probably goes in the bottom left. I'll be damned if this fixed the issue. If it did, I'll be so happy. And I'm very certain it did not fix the issue. It's like 519, 520.
I still have another Walkman I could try and fix. So I know if I can't get these me mechanisms working, I know I can at least have a functioning radio. How many radios do I have now? That'll be... Eight, nine, no, ten if you count that one AM one. Me addicted. Be serious. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on one dingity dingity darn minute. Okay. Ready? It, it sounds horrible. And it'll only run it in one direction, but I have to try something now. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's about three minutes for me, zero minutes for you. And I have got my boombox here plugged in. So personally, I'd consider that just a little bit fast. Um, that's as good as I can do for that. I'm, I'm going to hold on this, and I'm going to try the other one. And although none of you are asking, I will tell you about these tapes. These tapes are tapes I recorded uh, off of the hi-fi rig I showed in another video. I think I showed it in like, it was like 90s meme songs go hard or whatever. And it was just Voodoo People by The Prodigy. And I think I played one of these cassettes there. And it was recorded on that... That... Uh, Technics system. And... High quality. So with this one, I don't know how I'm going to take it apart. It... 
think it's just clips and yeah I don't know how to take this apart No, I'm sure. I'm sure my the player will love this. So that'll go back together. Okay. So it's always the other way. I have a slight feeling that this was not meant to be very repairable. Just slight. I'm sorry if I haven't been talking. I've been, been focusing on my, my mission. Oh, I broke something. That's cool. No, I didn't. I just got that clip out. I got that clip out, too. Now we know this will never work again. I'll have to put something up in this video or the description probably saying, yeah, hey, thanks for watching. I don't talk much during this video, so put it on in the background maybe. Hold on a minute. I think the belt is in there. I think the coolest part about this is it'll be 30 million times easier to put back together. They just put this together too good. This was not intended to be taken apart ever.
Is what I found. The loosest belt I've ever seen. How do you even do this? Oh, hold on. I know the motor spins, but... Okay, so the reason it makes that sound is because... Uh, it's not no tension. It's just about right, though, to where I might have to do a trick I learned. You put it in boiling water, not boiling, but like warm water, and it reshapes the belt. Otherwise. I have to find find myself a belt. All right, I'll let you know how that goes.